All right, and welcome back. This is No Worries, and this is part three of our sniping extravaganza. So to rehash, we just have completed every single snipe up to this point, and completed every single battle up to this point. So we're on to battle 26. Uh, what's significant here is that every single battle for the rest of the game has a boss. Hence why this is the sniping extravaganza. So. We're going to just kind of fly through these because these are really fast and really easy. <clears throat> so, for the beginning here, I would recommend kicking everybody out of your party. Obviously, you can't kick out Bowie, and then we're going to just have Peter. Now, if you remember from the grind, we've elevated Peter's attack quite a bit. Like I say, if you need to watch that other video, I would go ahead and recommend doing so. So this lizard man, if Peter has over a hundred attack while equipping the power ring, he will one shot this lizard man, which is the boss. So uh, the first item here, Peter's going to have this mobility ring equipped with the turbo pepper. He'll have eleven movement. It's ten spaces to the north side of this lesser demon. I recommend killing this lesser demon because it could come down here and attack Bowie. So we're going to go ahead and take that out. This dark bishop will come over here and attack Peter. This thing ain't going to do nothing. In fact, it's recommended to just leave Bowie standing here. On turn two, use the item ring or the uh, running ring again. It's 11 spaces to this spot. I would go ahead and equip the speed ring. <coughs> this will guarantee that Peter will outturn this wizard. And then you can kill the uh, dark sniper here for more experience. The lizard man will move to roughly here. These enemies kind of move around, but basically from here, it's 11 spaces to where the lizard man will be standing. <coughs> so you'll use the mobility ring to get up there. Equip the power ring to attack the lizard man. It's important you have the speed ring equipped the previous turn because this wizard, if it outturns Peter, it will move down one spot and block you from attacking the lizard man. So the whole thing is one, two, ended on the third turn. Super fast. After this battle, we're going to get Higgins. I recommend you that you kick Higgins. I'd go to Pakalon and save at Pakalon. We're going to save at Pakalon for another save point. So, move into the next battle. That was too far. I apologize. So we kick taken, so it's just the two of these guys here. Again, this is a really fast battle. Lizard's the boss. Peter is going to move up 11 spaces, but don't move up straight 11. Move up 10 and move over 1 with the mobility ring. The reason for it is so that this thing can't attack Peter. The dark sniper will come over and attack, but if you move Peter up 10 and over 1, this thing can't reach. But we just have him stand here. On turn two, you're going to just move Peter up 11 spaces. We're going to do this because that keeps everything just not doing anything. Like, some things will move, but nothing will attack Peter, including these enemies up here. These guys will move down, but they're not going to do anything again. Just leave Bowie here. Next turn, bam, powering, kill the lizard man. This one's even easier because he's standing on the 0% square. The desert was a 30% square, so this one is even easier to kill. Afterwards, we're just going to move along to battle 28. <coughs> this is the uh, Pengoat Valley Bridge Snipe. This is a, another easy one. I have the wrong palette, but you know you can see they're identical here. This battle takes two rounds. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why we want just Peter. See, if you have just Peter in your party, this is where he starts. Anyone else, it slowly pushes Peter backwards. So this is important. We want him to be here. So it's just the two of these guys. Turn one, you're going to use the mobility ring. It's ten spaces to move down here. Again, now I'd equip the speed ring here. The, the reason is that this Weverin does not move. But these do. So rather than attack this Weverin, I'd attack this one, because this one will move back. The Lesser Demon will attack Peter, no big deal there. But it's important to equip the speed ring here. That way you can then move with the running ring, because the wizard will move over one space. So you're going to then use the running ring this is 11 spaces from right here to down here to attack the wizard and end him. You don't... <coughs> excuse me. You don't need to have the power ring equipped for either of these because Peter will be strong enough to take them both out. Um, again, just another easy one. This one is only two rounds. So we've just knocked out three battles in about seven minutes. It's very fast. Now after this battle, I'd go ahead and put Chester in your party. The reason is is that we need somebody for the next battle and then the battle afterwards. So this is uh, the courtyard battle leading into Metula. Again, this is a very fast battle, just two rounds. So the Dark Knight is the boss. 
we need to boost Peter for this one. So here we need the power ring to be on B Bowie. Peter can have the other items. Now equipping the speed ring on this one is not nearly as big a deal, but it's always good habit. So Peter is going to move up. You can go to either of these spots here in the water. Uh, I recommend just go ahead and doing the top one just because I'm out of habit, but either of these is fine. Now hopefully these worms go before Bowie. If not, it's not that big a deal. You're just going to move him up and boost Peter. We have to boost Peter because this thing's a little bit strong. Now these enemies will move around, but basically from this spot it's nine spaces up here. So you can see it just gives Peter a lot of room to be able to get up here take out this Dark Knight. Uh, and boost it, he'll do that just fine. So like I said, another two round battle. Very, very fast. Very, very easy. Now we needed Chester because for this next battle, which by the way, if the powering cracks, not a big deal. We don't need to boost Peter. This next battle, we need someone else in our party besides just Bowie. The reason is, is because it moves Peter over one starting spot. This is important because we need Peter to not be in this straight line here. We need Peter to be in this left lane here. So this battle is kind of an interesting one. Uh, the, it works somewhat... Uh, it's a very triggered battle, so like, I know we haven't really talked too much about them, but right here, this line right here, this is the trigger point for all of these units, except, except this one right here. <coughs> so none of these things will move. Well, I, I guess this isn't exactly clear. I, the line should be up higher. The, we don't need to worry about anything. So let me let me differentiate here. So like that thing is triggered. This guy is triggered. These guys are triggered. Or I'm sorry. These guys are all zoning enemies. All of Zalbard. So all of this stuff. None of that will move until the turn after we get up here. So let me let me say this again. Everything in this blue region isn't going to move. Except for these guys in these sections here. Much like the rest of these enemies, these guys will move when you get near them. All the rest of this stuff up here in the red doesn't move until you get up into this region. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take advantage of the fact that these guys won't move and they won't fight back. So on Peter's first turn, so he wants he actually wants all these rings here. Peter's going to move 11 spaces up. It's basically one spot down here from the water. On this turn, you want to use the shield ring to boost himself. This is going to elevate his speed. This is important so that he can then outturn Zalbard the following turn. So he, this Dark Knight is going to come over and attack, and this Harpy Queen will come down and attack as well. The next turn, you're just going to move Peter up. It's 11 spaces up to here to attack Zalbard. This, at this point, you need to equip the power ring. So, like, the reason that we boosted is because the next round we want Peter to go before Zalbard goes, just for obvious reasons. And uh, with the power ring, if Peter has about 107 attack, he'll, he'll take down Zalbard in two attacks. And, like I said, everything that's up here, none of this stuff moves until after this turn. So like, you'll go up there, you'll attack, and even though none of these things could do anything, they're not going to. So, it's pretty pretty cool. It's a pretty nice exploit. We're going to use this in quite a few places. So, that'll do it for now. Uh, tune in next time for the rest of the snipes leading back to Grand Seal. Alright, this has been No Worries. I'll see you guys back next time.